we're live. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to Stream Coco. Uh, you guys can clap back there. Come on, clap a little bit. Got to get this energy up. Guys, we're really excited today. We've got Guy Bronham on the show. Hello. Uh, he's got a great new show coming up on April 5th called Talk Show the Game Show, which takes two of my favorite formats and creates some kind of Frankensteinian comedy monster. Yes. Is that a good description for it's your show? It's a comedy monster. Okay, yeah, there we go. Coming to destroy C-list celebrities. I, lo <laughs> I love it, yes. But in a good Body way. blow, body blow. And uh, today we're playing this game called Everything, uh, which is going to be super weird. I rolled around as a donkey for five minutes before. Oh, that's exciting. So yeah, well, well we're going to play that. Also, I wore this shirt, which I feel like kind of has everything on it. That's it's like pretty a adorable. teddy bear getting fucked up. I don't know what's happening here. There's a skateboard involved. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Twitch. Hello, YouTube. Uh, what's happening? On the subject of donkeys rolling around, have you played any of the goat simulation games? Yes, we played the goat Hell simulation. Hell yes, we played the goat simulation <laughs> game. It's Andy fantastic. It. Andy was really into it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, Andy Richter loves being a goat. <laughs> So who knew? I'm gonna put your name in here. Okay. You know, that's so fair. So that way I can't be responsible for anything. You know, you were guy. You were uh, uh, the head writer of X Play. You guys remember X Play? I was the head writer of X Play, so I know a lot about video games. That's right. from Seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> You're really into like what Max Payne? Is yeah. That, you know, if you would like any jokes about SSX Tricky, <laughs> uh, or original recipe Bioshock, I'm here for you. Original, that was <laughs> original recipe Bioshock. I love it. Um, and that's and you know now. Now, in, you, you've been on the Mindy Project, which is fantastic. Yes. You've gone on to bigger things. Not necessarily better, because I loved X-Play. No. But, you know, bigger things. It was wonderful having a little show where no one was watching, so we could just do whatever we wanted. Much like this. <laughs> which is great. <laughs> which is great. You feel our, uh, you feel our joy <laughs> slash our pain. Uh, so here, do you want to play? Just get in here, All man. Right. Get in. Yeah. I, I think we're just a dot of light. This is going to be a super trippy game, by the way. Is this evolution? Is this Spore again? It, it's, you know what? It might be Spore 2 Electric Boogaloo, I think. Exactly. It's asking existential questions. I think we're a space sperm right now. Uh, oh. I'm now a... we're a cat. We're a space cat Ooh. on the moon. We're a space cat on the on Earth. And there's a giant place PSN logo right there. <laughs> exactly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the rolling uh, around. Why? Uh, this is... Why... That's not how cats move. Yeah, yeah, I would like yeah. to talk to this development team. <laughs> this game is not super immersive. <laughs> All right. No, wait, you have the, so you have the show. So uh, tell so, us about Talk I Show. The, okay, I, talk, I, talk I, Show I, the Game Show premiering April 5th on, uh, on True TV mm -hmm. at 10 p.m. 9 Central. It's basically a, a talk show where you score points, not unlike the Conan program. Perfect. Where you score points by doing the sorts of things you're supposed to do on a talk show. Like name dropping, um, you there know, and some of my very good friends like Wanda Sykes and Moby are on the show. Points, points, exactly. Points. Uh, that's how it works. Uh, I love it. And then after people's interviews, they are evaluated by a fabulous panel of judges. Oh my god! You do, you do like a post mortem of their interview in front uh, of them. Absolutely, it is real time it. reaction videos. So if people do a terrible job, I'll head over to that thing over there, that white, that weird white thing. I don't understand why. I'm not like I'm supposed to be like running into anything. I have not gotten a power up or a point. I should be able to eat these sheep, right? I think so. Or at least like rub your butt on them or something. Right, I have to press X near the icon. If you if you hold if you hold right. X, you go real fast. Oh, okay. You hold X. Oh, Ooh. now you're really rolling. See, I think you could talk to this tree. Wait. Right. Oh wait. Hold oh, like, on. Go back to the. You can talk to the there tree. Were no thoughts. To I to I did warn you that this game was insane. A lot like my shirt. Uh, Chris Wax, the cat is rolling around on the ground. Can, are you not watching this, or do you just have the chat on with no, no visuals? You I, you ask me what we're looking at, and you're looking at. I want to eat a stag. I very much I like games that require you to eat and sleep. Yes, and I possibly have a budget. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Like and, The Sims? Wait, go over yes. to that weird star thing. I think that's something. I like games with gardenings and budgets. <laughs> I like a nice harvest moon. Would you like to know the best thing about being um, head writer of X-Play? I would love to know the best thing. Every year at E3, I could just go to the Natsume booth, the people who make Harvest Moon, and say, whatever toy you have, give me nine of them. And they had to, because it was the law. Because <laughs> it was the law. Hey, we're talking to a stick. All right, there we go. Uh, look out for others with this thing. Uh, Micadillo, uh, you're watching Stream Coco with Guy Bronham. Uh, he's got a new show, Talk Show, The Game Show, coming up uh, April 5th. And we're playing a game about a mountain lion that is on LSD. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> or no, I'm sorry. This is Maybe. this is clearly Molly because he's literally rolling. Right. Exactly. I feel like if we were on Molly, this would smooth us out and we would see it running. Yeah. You know, like you need like Molly is like the the component you need. 1010 uh, IGN says best game of the year. We'll see. Uh, Yin Yang spilled milk out of his or her nose. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, there you go. Wait, so did you tell me how you came up with talks of the game show? I, I was it a stage show first? Yes. So. Okay. Uh, 15 years ago, I was in uh, a van. And if you uh, want me to take over at some point, just no, let me know. Right? I should be able to do both of these things at the same time. <laughs> 15 years ago, I was in a van on the way to a quiz bowl tournament in the Midwest. Oh my goodness. And I was talking to my best friend, and we were talking about how when you're on a talk show, there's a right and wrong way to do it. And so we started just joking about talk show, the game show, about how there should be like a 1970s style talk show yeah. about being good at game shows. Yeah. Um, the people from Three's Company could be on. And then um, <laughs> for 10 years, I did nothing with that. And then um, I didn't have a job and I had left Chelsea lately and I was sad. Why does this glowing thing not do anything? I'm not sure. You know what? I think if you press in the R3 button, uh -oh. I think you can growl or something. Here, here. I'll, I'll go over right. it. So keep going. So, so um, I... Uh, how long is this van ride? Was this just a, an no, hour's... It was, no, it was like a, a, a ride from Minneapolis to Chicago. So like eight hours. That's a long ride. Uh, and then... Enough uh, to hatch a show. Yes. Uh, and then um, I... After I left Chelsea lately, I didn't know what I was doing with myself and I missed talk shows. So... This is, we're just listening to trees complain? I know, I kind of love the, it. What WTF, pardon my letters, <laughs> is up with this game? Um, but I like came up with rules, and then I just asked the improv if I could do it, and they were like, sure, but not in the main room. <laughs> they were uh, like, sure, in the hallway. <laughs> right, like, and I started doing it, and it was really fun, and we got really great people to do it live. That's Academy awesome. Award winners, Tony winner Marissa Jarrett Winoker, uh, Diablo Cody, Holy um, shit. Lots of people with daytime Emmys. Um, <laughs> Those are, st you know, the statue's the same. The yes, statue's the same. The statue's the same. <laughs> exactly. You can still um, melt it down and sell it for Coke. Uh, um, <laughs> Not that I would know. That was a very specific thing I just said. <laughs> but, um, oh, gulp. The, the show, like, was, like, successful and people had a really good time. And then eventually, uh, Wanda Sykes and her producing partner became aware of it and were like, let's turn this into a real show. Yeah. Where you can make money instead of just doing this for free every month. And so when you when you were adapting it from the stage to TV, what were what were some of the challenges? I mean, besides being horribly nervous. Well, first of all, I'm a goddamn professional. <laughs> so the show was pretty produced to begin with. <laughs> I love it. Um, I love it. But you know, it's like we, we took the show, which like ran at like a clean 44 minutes and had to trim it down to 24. Damn. So there were some efficiencies found. Um, <laughs> Redundancies, and, as they say in the, uh, yes. in the office. Yes. Uh, and I had to figure out how to deal with uh, guests who weren't just people I already knew. Right. I feel bad that you're just clicking through those dialogues, considering those dialogues are the only game we're getting. Here. Well, I, I will say, I just wanted to be able to sing. I wanted to get to the oh. point where you could sing to other animals That's because. That's what I did in the three minutes I played oh. this game in preparation Sing for this. Sing to one of those ibexes or whatever. What's an ibex? I don't know antelope. <laughs> Whoa, they're all they're all. Oh, are they scared of you because you're going to eat them? Oh yeah, but can I eat them? Dude, I'm upside down. And by the way, it looks like I'm just like fully erect at all times here. What's happening? I'm just an excited cat. Can I eat this thing or what? You would you would have skewered this on X Play, I feel like. Uh yes. <laughs> no, the thing is is like at least it does something. On X Play we always had those games that like were just broken. Just fundamentally sure, broken. Sure. And I feel like Steam is like a quarter of the things on Steam you yes. buy and you're like, this just <laughs> this is not a game. <laughs> right. This doesn't like... <laughs> work. <laughs> this is a this is like a, a screensaver with some extra uh, uh, interactivity. Yeah. Do you still play video games? Uh, I do, but I play very boring, involved video games. Let's hear it. Like uh, what? I like a nice Europa Universalis 4. Oh my a, god! A I very mean... slow, very political game. Oh, um... I don't know if I've heard of that game. Th there's this thing on Steam, this new thing on Steam, it's called like... Spore on LSD. This is, Dennis. This is definitely Spore on LSD. It's called Nuvia or something like that? But it's like, it's a, uh, a real-time strategy game, but you, like... Uh, you build trees and some of them make <laughs> ghosts and they fight with the other ghosts. What? That game is so much fun. Like, Wait, what is it called again? It's like, it's Nuvia or something like that. It's like seven letters long and there's an N and a V. I forget. Nuvia? Wow, that sounds awesome. Yes, but it's, it's really cool. It's basically... I hope next spring is as sunny as this. If not, I'll be absolutely furious. 
I mean, I love the spirit of this game. I love like, it too. You know, we also have this game War of the Monsters loaded up, where we could just fight each other as giant monsters. If this gets, but I like being on this adventure. Um, but uh, the Steam game that I don't know the name of, it's essentially like StarCraft, but with trees and ghosts, and like not. Do you guys know what he's? It's trees and ghosts. It's StarCraft with trees and ghosts. Anybody? It just came out. Anybody? Hello, lady, reading comments. Oh, it's. It's not. Send nudes. You know, here's the thing about sending nudes. If you're going to say send nudes, you got to be specific. Because I will send you some nudes, but they're not going to be, I think, nudes you want to see. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're just a lot of, like, of those Donald Trump statues. Like, the new yes. Donald Trump. That's the kind of nudes That's I send disgusting. to people. It is horrifying. Uh, and disgusting even just how small his hands are. Uh, Javier Rao would like to ask, why does this bald guy sound like a bitch? Because I'm a homosexual. I have a gay voice. It is part of me and my culture. <laughs> But the capacity of the internet to point out how fat and gay I am is one of the things I truly love about it. Yeah. Um, it's its deepest power. <laughs> it's its de your, most, your most maximum... Wait, we can join other mountain lines here. Holy oh, that's shit. Wonderful. Oh, now shit's about to get real. Wait, by pressing... Are these, the, are these other mountain lines? No, yes. Oh. Um, Remember, join to work, you must be close to another mountain line. Oh, boy. So when my niece was like seven, she became obsessed with this... Um, MMORPG that was made by the Department of the Interior about <laughs> wolf conservation where you play it as a wolf. What? And it was the most boring thing ever, <laughs> but it was also slightly captivating. <laughs> I got really involved in this game called Jenny Nation States or something where it was like a text-based game. Uh, but Wonderful. Similar, similar where it was like basically promotion for this guy's book about like politics but I was re because you make choices and that affects the people in your in your nation. That's wonderful. And it, I, for like three years, I played this, and it was just it was the, fascinating. To, to me, there's nothing more satisfying than playing some like technically like ten years ago. Game yes, right. And just being like, I don't care. It's a good game. This uh, this what is? Do you think this is a deer? What is this? It's a deer. It's a doe. A deer. A female deer. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Ray, talking about Ray, a drop of golden sun. <laughs> so there we go. Trevor, now I'm going to be furious until it changes. All right. I want to join some other mountain lines here, but I'm not sure where to go. Do you want to take over? Yes. We can find some other mountain lines. So we, if, if we press square, we can... I just feel so alone as a mountain line. Somebody asked bald homosexual Half-Life 3 jokes, or Half-Life 3 thoughts. I just want to say, look... I haven't I haven't been in that world since Orange Box, and frankly, <laughs> I liked Team Fortress more. Yes, I agree. Or Portal. Portal is so wonderful. So wonderful. Uh, Stephen Merchant in Portal Two is a national treasure, and I know it's not our nation, but like his <laughs> nation. Is. He's a treasure of of, yeah. of Great Britain. Are those exactly? Are those Hanane, uh, Nani, we're playing this game called Everything. Uh, and now, by the way, I'm kind of into this rolling thing. Yes. I was I was against it initially, but now I'm. I can't find anything to interact with, though. You found so many good things. Well, I... I, I, I it was all luck. It's just, I look, I'm, I'm a lucky mountain lion. Exactly. Here at the Animal Kingdom Olympics, we have the majestic mountain lion going for gold here on the tumbling map. <laughs> well played, Eeyore. Exactly. Wait, are these... It's, I will say one gripe straight out of the box is it's hard to tell the animals from each other. Yes. You know? Like, get a little colorful with it. The palette's so dull here. But, I mean, there's you something know? magical... Make a mountain lion, you know, more bright, brightly colored so I can see the other mountain lions. There's something magical and terrible about living in this world where all of the cool games are made by one dude in his or her... That's true. ...like, apartment, as opposed to, you know, the franchise games that, um take nine years that's true team fortress 2 best game ever we agree we it was saying. so much fun uh my favorite video game Ooh, do you have a favorite video game oh god of like all time of all time uh um, that's a tough one I, it's honestly probably going to be ssx3 i don't know that anything has ever made me as happy as ssx3 um like and wow very I mean, satisfying of a game very the, satisfying the answer is wow i lost a good like three years of my life to wow um, i couldn't i couldn't play wow because it's like i i know my limits you can't smoke half a crack rock you know what I'm right. saying? you can't just dip your toe in the world of warcraft you gotta go all in well you gotta go no, all the in. answer for me is what did you do in 2005 well wow and get takeout um <laughs> It is. <laughs> that's a short terrible. autobiography. That's a short yeah. chapter. It's just that's I, very. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Oh. oh, wait a second. Oh, here we go. Ooh, there's love in the air. Um, are we about to fuck? <laughs> it, 
Is this? Are you controlling both of them? Yes. Oh, dude. Oh. I am Legion. Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> oh, you can go collect a bunch of other mountain lions. And do nothing with them. This is <laughs> destroying our brain, right? In some weird way, I think. I, uh -huh. Oh, dude, this is great. Three. Oh, you got three. This is turning very Katamari Damacy. Oh, Katamari was a f that, that was games. a great game. Yeah, it it was, the saddest thing is when you have a game. <laughs> dude, look at your posse. But the thing, like with Katamari or um, or Assassin's oh Creed, where you have this game that, like, oh my god, what's happening? Opens up games and then you have sequels <laughs> and they're like shit. innovative in no way. Right. Exactly. Yes, I agree. I agree. Yeah, you gotta raise the Take game. Over, make them do something. You gotta, you, you gotta raise the bar. This is great. Look at. Wait, how do I? So I, you just when there's like a uh, hearts around them, that's. Oh. Oh, look at hear my roar. This is great. Oh my god. I feel so powerful. And weirdly... Is that a... How did you find... Is that... Did I just get another one? I'm not exactly sure. Now what do we do? Other mountain lions or... Did you see where they were or you just kind of came upon them? I just came oh, upon them. Just came upon them. This is... This we is, should be allowed to eat things though. I think so. I There's a lot of things here I want to... It's time to just cause some bloodshed. What if by, but when you start attacking things, it gets hyper-realistic and it's just super <laughs> gory. Just blood on the screen and people are screaming. I just finished playing Resident Evil 7, which was like, quite... Where are the zombies now? Yeah, well, let me tell you. There, it was a very Texas Chainsaw Massacre in a house. Oh, okay. And the second boss was this woman where her engine room is basically a beehive. And it just mutant bees, dude, out of the, I, you know, it's like. I love the way all video games are God. built to talk to the psyche of a 14 year old. Yes! Boy. It will what never. What scares you most? Yeah, your exactly. mom and your teacher? <laughs> Can we, how do I. If I just hit. Look, the... AB, we would punch a tree if we could punch a tree. <laughs> yes. It's not an option. It's not an option. I can roll by a tree. We need to find. Uh, so wait, so talk to the game show. Now, talk to me about uh, alcohol consumption. Okay. Um, so on talk to the game show, yes. you can get three points, for, or two points or three points, I forget, for drinking alcohol on stage. Uh, and it does lead to a, a smooth and charming show, though there were honestly occasions where things maybe got a little out of hand. Okay. And it was fun and awesome. Like at the end of our first week of taping, um, we had a certain CNN correspondent on who had her fill of wine. Wolf. Um, wolf Blitzer. I know it's Wolf. <laughs> uh, that guy goes home, pint of ice cream, rosé every night. I know he does. And we honestly had to be like, all right, maybe next week we shouldn't produce them towards <laughs> drinking quite so oh much. <laughs> Three is a lot of points for yes. doing something that's really fun. Well, and I also um, do my best to try to keep up with my guests. Oh, boy. Um, and that can be a mistake. Though it is super fun to be at a job where you can get, uh, just get drunk. Yes. Which is most of my jobs, which yeah. may be that I have a problem. <laughs> I don't think you have a problem at all. I think that the rest of us have a problem that we don't have jobs like that. <laughs> Seems like you've cracked the code. Um, what, were, what were some of the oh, things... Yes, Jody Kay, it is Guy from Chelsea lately. Yeah! Somebody, and the mini project. Somebody was saying, um, like, we should just go as far as we can. I'm always amazed by those people who just went on Minecraft and just explored as far as they could yeah. until the machine broke. Right. Um, they are heroes and <laughs> our... Um, Those are true American heroes. Yes. Those are the real heroes. Like Lewis and Clark but of <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> right. Lewis and Clark of Minecraft. That's a resume builder. Yeah, maybe we'll just go straight and just see what we can... We have a lot of... That's who the artist is trying to give us help. He understands this game. He says, find a mandala icon to get further. Bat Batu the Artist is all of this just like a Hindu or Buddhist lesson. Yeah, just uh, basically become one with the mountain lion. But I feel like most video games are like a Buddhist lesson. Of right. Like, you spend <laughs> right. so much time fighting with it, and then you're finally like, oh, this is pointless. Right, <laughs> right. You see, right, you see through the, the veil of reality. Yeah. Oh, one of the best experiences while working at X-Play was uh, an MMORPG died, uh, and there were all of these people posting about, oh, whoa, what the fuck is going on? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm growling at all these things, and they all... And they're mad at you. And they're mad. They're running away. I can't eat them. 
Hey guy. Hey, does, hey, uh, Eric. Does anybody know how to eat stuff on here? What fourteen-year-old boy wants a scary old lady vagina? B. I don't know. I think, but it, you know, it's a comment on, on. They don't. They don't consciously want it. They subconsciously want it. Yes. Because they are deeply into the V at that point in time. Exactly. Um, but there are V's everywhere, not just on that cute girl on the volleyball team. And they're scared of the V. Yeah. They're, you know, it's it's the dread and the yearning. It's the yearning for a V, but the dread of the V. Yes. You know, it's so it's a it's really it's a it's a dichotomy within their soul that uh, that creates a con in internal conflict, which tears every fourteen year old boy apart. Um, uh, another world Eat the with shrubs. Like, I can't. Another world wants to know how you got to work with Conan. I would like to know that too. Well, how do how I got to work with Conan? Yes. I was an intern, and they made a mistake and hired me, which was obviously. I'm getting paid now to roll around with a bunch of mountain bikes. <laughs> talk to Guy Brownham, which is pretty great. Uh, all right, here's there's the thing up here. Uh, yeah, that was that was basically it. And they also uh, this is actually a hilarious thing. They didn't think nobody thought the internet was going to go anywhere, so uh, they were like, "Do you want to write a blog? No one else wants to do it." I was like, "Sure." And then cut to <laughs> now, like we've won an Emmy and our, our department is huge and we do all this crazy shit. Well, it it is like I remember being at follow your dreams, kids, <laughs> even if you don't know what your dreams are. At G4, we were always like, oh, nobody wanna, wants to watch gameplay on television. Right. Uh, and then now Pewdie, PewDiePie yes. wasn't like, a, you know, a, an industry until recently. Right, exactly. <laughs> and now Twitch is 60 million subscribers. Yes. Uh, could you put the camera any more lower? I could. I could just stand up so it's exactly crotch level. <laughs> we got to see the TV, dude. Yes. And plus, we want to show off our beautiful knees. Look at these knees. Yeah, I'm known for my knees. These are a bunch of great-looking knees. My God. Uh, so what are your favorite moments uh, of... So you're obviously, you shot the entire season. We shot the entire season. It premieres, by the way, April 5th. April 5th, at 10, 10 true. on True TV, Talk Show the Game Show. Talk Show the Game Very Show. Very funny. It's going to be great. people on it. Uh, and what are, what are some, of, some of your favorite moments? Spoil, you know, spoiler alert. What are some of your favorite moments um, that happen? Well, I, the best thing on the show was there are people you expect to be good at talk shows. Yes. Like, Wendy McClendon Covey uh, from the Goldbergs is like a great improviser and super, super funny. And she had done the live show. I knew she would be good. But there were some real surprises. Like, uh, Rashad Jennings, who was a running back for uh, the New York Giants came Whoa. on and was just charming and so funny and amazing. Uh, Moby came on and was super, super great. Oh my god! Moby's uh, got a great restaurant. Have you been to Moby's restaurant? I have not way? been, but he brought me vegan cookies that oh, were so good. That's awesome. Um, it was amazing. Moby seems like a cool dude. Plus, I think he lives like in a castle. Do you hear about this whole story? I've heard this, but I, I don't know what the story is. I think he just lives in a castle over in Silver Lake. Uh, there are castles in Silver Lake? Well, Moby has a castle. It's all that uh, South Side money. What was that song? I guess so. Going to the South Side? Whatever. I forget. Um, but yeah, anyway. I am, I am, Sorry, I am Moby, Moby's Fat awesome. Boy Slim colorblind. I can't tell the difference. <laughs> between our 90s electronic <laughs> music artists. Uh, white electronic music artists. Yes. <laughs> From the 90s. Um, That's great. I, I but, feel like Moby would be kind of a, a great guest. Yes. No, he was super, super funny. That's awesome. Wanda Sykes was great, of course, and is one of the executive producers, but she also got super competitive about other people being, like, she was very worried about other people outscoring her after she had done the show. Really? Yes. Interesting. And so that was super fun. I wonder there, if that's because, like, like her stand-up, like, her stand -up, like, background, like, cutthroat stand-up background. I Absolutely. Oh, that's absolutely. That's so funny. At the end of the game, she wants to win. Uh, we I had, love that. We had one show that just ended in a disqualification. Whoa. Um, there was, I won't say who, but there was one person um, who just uh, couldn't stop saying, eating that pussy. Um, <laughs> and it finally became disruptive. <laughs> it, and, it finally became and disruptive. And he was, he was red carded. Oh, my God. Because you also can be... Um, Placed in a penalty box or red carded out of the game. That's crazy. Yes. What? And so, um, what? What are the stakes? Like, what are people? What do people win? Okay. Um, Besides, obviously, fame, fortune, bragging rights. Understandable. In in the live show, it was always just like a Starbucks gift card, and second place always got gay porn. Great. But they would not let me do that. Wait, for the second real show. place got gay porn? Yes. Like, um, gotta be first place. But uh, we um, we sent people home with a dishwasher. Uh, a front door, um, a garbage disposal. There we go. Lots of really wonderful practical things that you do need in your home. I kind of feel like that. That's it. Feels like that's a fun kind of like, like ironic throwback to like the seventies game show, like yes. new like game. Yeah, winning like a or like a vacation or winning like, you know, like oh, all this. Stuff. We were deeply like deeply wanted to give away uh, a three day two night vacation <laughs> to beautiful <laughs> Oakland, California. <laughs> 
Um, Beautiful in quotes, I'm sorry. It didn't work out. Uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> That's awesome. That's yes. right. how are how is now how is this might be a little too making the sausage for people at home, but how were we all love sausage? We all now. love sausage. It's yes. delicious, unless you're Moby, but vegan sausage. Maybe. Yes. How was how was true to work with? Oh, were they great? How were they, like sensors, like all that stuff? Did you find it was hard to get stuff? No, by? I mean the thing is, uh, in this vast media age we live in, everybody has to have five jobs. Like everybody, yes. I write for the Mindy Project, I do other things, and I have the show and. True is very much excited about being a place where people do the stuff that they want to do and love to do. That's awesome. So, like, they just started a new show uh, with this guy, Prentice Penny, who is the showrunner of Insecure. Oh, awesome. Um, yes, wow, but I love he Insecure. has a show where he, like, uh, like shows you how to upgrade your life. Um, Whoa. And uh, True was really, really awesome and just wanted to sort of, like, make the show they had seen. Kill, how do you kill things? I don't know. Can someone explain to us how to kill things? I'm really trying to kill something. By the way, I think it's getting dark in this game. Yeah. Weirdly. Uh, Magic hour. Oh, God. There are some games where I do not need realistic day to night I, I agree. It's just depressing. Uh, it's like I've been playing this game in game for four days. Oh, here is a very lame video game taste that I have. Oh, let's see. Uh, I love playing tycoon games like a six year old. and um, Like Roller Coaster Tycoon? Like, not so much that, but there is this game called Game Developer Tycoon <laughs> that I play obsessively where you pretend to develop games. <laughs> Uh, wait, and, wait. and it's so pointless. Wait, I don't know. How does that actually work? Like you like you decide <laughs> what kind of game you're gonna put out on the market and how like how good your development team is gonna oh be and all of that. And it's super boring <laughs> and I love it. I don't know. It sounds kind of fun. We played uh, Farming Simulator. Oh, really fun. That game was yes. really, really fun. Okay, it's I so slow. I bought the farm simulator off of Steam, and it was terrible because I love a good farm simulator. <laughs> um, like the Harvest Moon games back in the day, pretty good. Oh, I hear that there's there's something Valley out now that's like American Harvest Moon, and that's kind of great. Whoa. But I don't want to play a farming game where I learn to love the people around me and know their birthdays. <laughs> right, yes, exactly. I am not Japanese. I want to play a game where I become wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live out my dreams of massive wealth and game development. Yes. <laughs> Uh, somebody wants to know what my studio is called. I believe you mean my gaming studio. Yeah, uh, yeah. I usually name them after uh, the, like uh, Greek or Aztec gods <laughs> or a dirty Ooh. word. Stardew Valley. Ooh. Chris, should I get Stardew Valley? Stardew Valley. Or everyone who said Stardew Valley. <laughs> Stardew Valley. Should I get Stardew Valley? Jacko Wacko, we're playing, uh, we're playing this game called Everything. We're so far, we're a bunch of mountain lions. Uh, and Guy Branham is here from Mini Project, Chelsea Laley, and his brand new show, Talk, Talk to, to the, the Game, game show, show, which I'm promoting right now. Yes! Which comes out April 5th at 10 p.m. That's right. Um, with a splashy and exciting show. Hey, do you like uh, talk shows? Hey, do you like game shows? Yes. You're going to love Talk to oh, the Game Show. You want to know uh, who was like, uh, who's great was John Sally. Uh, oh. and I, really? Oh, the, ba I, the basketball player. Yes, but I really feel like uh, an athlete who has then become like a broadcaster yes. may be like the perfect combination. Ooh, yeah, like it's a Charles great. Barkley. Like yes. a, yeah, I agree. Because they kind of don't give a shit at all. Oh. They're super funny. Tono Sama just made a season pass for my show. Yes. Uh, uh, TiVo, thank you so much. That's really great. Yes. A fine afternoon it is. A good time to kick back and remember how little time I left I have. You know what? I am this is my this is my mission statement right here. This is I love that this, this game is, is so full of philosophy. It's, at a certain point there's supposed to be a narrator. Alan Watts like narrates this game. I kind of love how messed up this game is. It's, it's really... It's, we have, like, 50 lions at this point. It's not helping you figure out what this game is supposed to be. No. Like, it's not... Very guiding. unhelpful. Yeah. Extremely unhelpful. And I can't eat anything. And I can't... I've got, like, 50 lions, and I can't eat this thing? But you're putting this, those elk through, like, such emotional... That's true. What does this do? Whoa! Oh, this is everything we... Uh, it's all of the fortune all cookies. The all of the fortune lions. cookies. God, here, here do you is want to roll around? Riddle? Is there a game? I mean, is I'll give yeah, you ten high fives. So you know who Bilo is? Mega Mister Victor. I don't know who Bilo is. Never became a Harvest Master in the original. I heard there's a glitch that calculates the amount of produce you make, and more work could give you a lower score. Oh, I don't know about that. Uh, Zahula, we're not sure what the point of this game is. It, this is very, bo uh, like I was saying, it's very Buddhist. It's very. Uh, what if I want to be alone? What if I get tired of having all of these mountain lions around? That's a good question. 
If I just want to go and like sulk and be by myself. So is this okay. Acid Trip Simulator 2K17 for sure? All right. I assume that that thing up above us um, was some sort of map indicator, but it's not. It's just telling me where my stick is going. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That's. Oh, you are just getting mountain lions left and right. Maybe we reach some kind of critical mass and they all join together I mean, into one giant, like, organic ball of You know, not enough things Voltron goo. these days. I agree. I agree. Let's Volt more Voltron. And more using Voltron as a verb. Yes. Voltroning things up. Have either of you seen the Power Rangers film? And I have will not. you? <laughs> I have not, and I probably will. Oh, wait. Talk to this dude. Talk to this dude. See what's going on there. Put that little the stick thing over that guy's... Where is Bubble. He? Lost in the fray of all the mountains. Oh, wait, at the left, I think. Oh. To the left. Uh, where? Oh, where did the, that motherfucker go? God damn it. Love these stragglers. No stragglers. Sorry, there was just a person here, and now they are gone. Oh man, this. I am failing. I would love to have heard the decision of just like, let's just let them tumble. Here we go. There's a rock with something. Now somebody said. <laughs> <laughs> this game is crap, but the only reason to watch is the guy is hilarious. Oh, there we go, cute. exactly. You know you can see more of him on his, uh, his new show. Talks to the game show. Um, so, so season one done. So now are you nervous about the premiere? Oh god, This is yes. you, man. You're the face of this? This is, the, this is all you. Well, another thing that um, should be noted is like... Uh, Networks with real viewerships aren't letting people who look like me host shows, <laughs> which is a very nice thing about true TV. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't mean, know. You, you like we we're talking about. Our foreheads are huge, so I, I think it's exactly. when you take a step back and, and really look at things. I think you, you deserve to be on television, to be in a star girl. <laughs> um, but uh, this is one of the warmest springs I've ever lived through. Is this about Great. global warming? Is this Ooh. is this how to kill? Oh my God! What if it is? I don't need more environmental uh, messages please. from my video games. Thank you very yeah, much. I know, I agree. That means it's a baby game. Exactly. <laughs> um, At least the rocks are helpful. Chris says that's true. <laughs> Trees suck. Rocks are actually helping us out in this. Uh, but no, I'm very nervous about the about the show. I mean, it was super fun to make it. We had a great time there. But the fear is always that like that won't come through on the actual show. And right. I mean, but... I don't know, though. Like, I saw the trailer. It seems like it... I mean, in, in 90 seconds, it seemed like there was a lot of fun stuff there. I hope so. The, what a, sometimes they just get trapped behind rocks. <laughs> that's so great. That's how you shed them. No, that's how... Yeah, I think going through rocks. Just take a hard left around a rock and get rid of them. I don't think we learned any lessons from the rocks and the trees. I learned a lot of important lessons from The Rock. Yeah. Um, you can become like, a rock. Oh, from The Rock? From The Rock. Dwayne The Rock. Dwayne yeah. The Rock. Yes. Wait, um, what is the way... He, that guy, first of all, you're in the gym way too much, The Rock. We get it. Oh, you're, the you're, best... You're the, ripped. The best we article of all time was the one where he explained his diet and how much cod he ate in a day. So <laughs> he eats like half a cod every day. Um, it's insane. That guy is him. just... I, I feel like he's got to be... He's got to smell bad, right? He just eats so much con all the time. He's got to sweat that out. That's got to come out in some kind of bodily fluid. I, I would like to say The Rock, if you were watching. Um, First of all, why are you... Get back to the gym. I would like to, to learn what you smell like. <laughs> um, Man up, The Rock. Go on Talks to the Game Show Season oh, 2. He would be amazing. At, God, yeah. he's so he charming. Be. He is. I, I he love The Rock. great on Talks to the Game Show. I have zero problems with The Rock. I think he's awesome. Plus, like, he's, like, one of those guys who just, like, if he's on a film set, he'll stop it for a second to go over to a child who's dying. And, yes. You know, like, the Jennifer Lawrence thing. Like, he's just, he gets that he's, like, famous and, you know, and all that stuff. And he, he seems understands. wonderful, and I'm not mad that he's in on the joke. I am. Right. We have too many people who are in on the joke now, and I'm tired of that. I agree. Um, but not The Rock. Oh, yeah, let's talk to this. Oh, oh it's, it's a Lonely Rock. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, so we need to find another white rock. But there's... This the other white rock. My shirt does look like a seizure. This is true. If you're seeing this when you're not looking at this shirt, go to the hospital immediately. Oh, I figured out where the white rock is. That's it's right. John Cena. The uh, <laughs> um, it is wrestling right now. John Cena also not another guy. Oh wait, let's talk to that tree. I, what thing is gonna? What do you think? What thing is gonna tell us how to kill stuff? I, I think it's going to be a rock, I, not a tree. I pressed X, and it didn't do anything this time. Man, God. 
game is killing me. Guys, do you think it is possible that this game where mountain lions just roll around might not be the best developed thing? <laughs> <laughs> like, there might be some broken functionalities. I say if we don't fit. Alright, I'm giving this game five more minutes. Yes. Then more of the monsters. That's fair. Uh, we could just mash buttons and destroy things. Beth and Aaron, what are your. Um, did you feel like. I'm gonna ascend or descend. Anything? Feelings are dumb. Feelings are dumb. You know what? What a bummer of a tree. Yeah, this, this game is pretty nihilistic for being. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, full of life. What are your origin games? What are your, like, foundational games? Where did you start out? Ooh, I mean, we're talking. I'm old uh, as the hills, so uh -huh. I started on the old Commodore 64 slash uh -huh. Odyssey. I remember. Kids, listen to this. Hey, uh, kids on the internet, you want to hear an old person story? Uh, my One of my first games was Robin Hood. Uh -huh. And it was, you loaded it up, there was a tape player, and you put a cassette in, <laughs> and it had to load for 40 minutes, <laughs> four zero minutes. That's wonderful. And you would play a game, you get three lives, and then the dude with the flaming arrow would always kill me, and then you'd have to load it up again. Because the whole tape had to play, the whole magnetic tape had to play oh, that's to load up the game. It was hell on earth. But it made me appreciate, so this isn't so bad, you know, like it's one of those. This things. is, I mean, if you had shown this to anyone in 1989, they would be like, this is the best mm -hmm. thing yeah. ever. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's incredible. It's so realistic, the way, the animal movements. The night to day. Exactly. Beth, what was your first game? Uh oh. Um, I believe uh, Pokemon Blue, the oh. Game Boy Color. One Pokemon Blue, wow. Present. A little girl could ask for. My family went skiing. I stayed inside the lodge and played Pokemon Blue. That's great. <laughs> that what's, was the best. What's your favorite Pokemon? Oh, that's a good. That's uh, an important oh, question. Oh, Pokemon? Yeah. Yes. Oh man. Um, in terms of cuteness, I feel like I'm a, a Diglett fan. Ooh, all right. That's reasonable. Did you um, play into that Pokemon Go? Oh, um, yes. It was so fun for a period of time. Yes. Like it. Gamifying the world around us, I think, is really smart, and we will see yeah. more of that. Agreed. But it was the fact that you couldn't fight with people. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. I agree. It was like a whole the whole gym thing was a, a pain in the ass. Yeah. And you could actually lose your stuff. Was kind of kind of sucked. Oh wait, here we go. Maybe talk to that thing over there. I'm I'm 30 seconds away from giving up on this game. Black spine agave. Oh come on! Now this game's just mocking us. Yeah. This is. That's not cool. You won't even let us kill anything. It's doing the internet's job for it. Yeah, exactly. No, wait, putting, so putting together, uh... This thing's gonna try to kill us? I, just, I love it just sassily walks away. It's like, later. Boom, 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 boom. You are my prey. Yeah, exactly. Alright. No, wait, what are your... Let's... Uh, do I, we're, yes. we're done with this. We're yeah. done. Sorry, everything. We're done with... We can't do this. I can't... It I was fun for a time. I won't do it anymore. I need to I need to see something be smashed. Um, what are some of your favorite talk shows? What are some of your influences? Oh, uh, Conan, of course. Uh, absolutely change the game. Um, sure. Just even with his hair. I yes. Mean, he's mostly yeah. hairstyle. In, in terms of branding. In terms of brand... Yeah, hairstyle. Like, <laughs> like old school uh, Tonight Show... Like, you know, like Johnny yeah. Carson era, I mean, things were always going down. It was always a good time. Yes. Uh, I like a mid-2000s The View. Oh. They were doing all of the good fighting. Yeah. I saw so much. I watched The View every day for like five years because when I was a researcher for Conan, uh, we had to. And I got so... Shit was going down every day. Daily. It was yeah. crazy. It was awesome. It was great. It was, it was very like WWE around a table. Yeah. <laughs> and like verbal WWE. Um, all right, here we go. This game, very button smashy. Uh, Imperial Biscuit wants to know what my favorite Pokemon is. The answer is Abra. I like Ooh. Abra best. Let's see here. I am uh, let's bad play. at any Twitch game. Um, we're just so gonna button let's... mashing is fine. We'll play first to, because we're gonna get our asses kicked. So, all right. So choose. Oh wait, yeah. Choose your. So you can be any of the. This is kind of like a throwback to like, oh. you know, like uh, uh, '50s monster movies. Yeah, like we'll be, we'll be huge. Do you remember Rampage? Oh, dude, yes. This is yes. like 3D Rampage. Oh, okay. This is great. It's also for the PlayStation 2, so uh, this is this is classic exploit territory. Yes. I think I'm gonna go. Am I gonna go Mantis? I'm gonna go big man, big old Mantis guy. I'm going to be an energy thing. And then we'll who are these are gonna be our enemies. So okay. I'm gonna make one dude big guy flaming head. All right, maybe we'll play, uh, 
Oh, Midtown Park? Do they have the Warner lot? <laughs> no Warner lot out there. Ellen and Jim Parsons walking around behind. You know what's really funny is I see Sam Elliott around a lot. Oh, really? And also Ashton Kutcher. Because they're taping the ranch oh. yeah, the in the ranch. building next to the commissary. Oh, so that's like, awesome. So you'll just see, like, I'll, you'll be walking to get lunch, and, like, Ashley Kutcher will walk right by, or, like, Sam Elliott. His mustache, by the way, in person, <laughs> is so glorious. All right, so let's see here. I think these are attacks. X is jump. You can climb up the building by hitting O and grab stuff. Oh, getting railed already. Jeez. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know. What did you think about that? Like, I thought Godzilla was okay. What do you think? Oh, I didn't see it. Um, it was fine. I mean, he's so Godzilla's so big now. It's like any of those movies where it's like there's a huge monster like Cloverfield. It's why would you just run away? Like it's so easy to get away from Godzilla. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just run away from Godzilla. So Godzilla only attacks cities. Go to the suburbs. Yeah, right, exactly. Oh my god, what's happening? How do I get up there with you, friend? So you can, if you hit X to jump, you can hit O, and then you'll climb up. If you hit uh, O, yeah, if you hit O, you'll grab onto a building. You can oh, I'm the failing. There you go, just hit O. Next. Oh, there, oh, you picked up a, oh, wow, that was cool. Oh, but I it only injured myself. I like that story. There you go. Yeah, if you right, if you press O when you're next to a building, you'll climb up and press O. Oh damn, you're shooting lightning. Oh, I don't know where anybody is. Oh, oh, there we go. Endless fun. This game is great, by the way. Oh, this is a this is an unheralded classic. Well, now we're all in the same. Just kicking the crap out of the dude. Oh, you got impaled by something? Where am I? What's going on? I think I really failed. I think just back, just mash buttons. That's what I do. Just, just hit a hit a bunch of buttons. Just. Oh, there you go. Oh, you go. There, there you go. go. Now you got it. That's All right. it. There you go. So I think if you hit, I'm hitting a lot of square. Punches, punch punches dudes, and then and then kind of circle to jump I'm up. Oh, that's me. Oh! Oh, sorry. oh you're- Ah! No, it's all right! Son of a bitch. Oh, nice. Yeah, I will say, there's this tendency in games now, like, to not have couch co-op games, which uh -huh. sucks, because this is- Oh, now I'm impaling. Stupid. Oh, I'm low health. That's right. Uh... Oh, yeah, any other, uh... I've heard you that you don't like what talk show hosts sing. Oh. <laughs> Is that a real thing? Well, no, it's fine. I just feel like we have a lot of singing these days. We have more singing than jokes. Right, that's um, true. You're right. Like, if Conan sings, it's just because of rich Irish traditions. <laughs> um, it's in his blood. Danny boy. Yes. Yeah, it's exactly. But, uh, I feel like you boys are having fun without me. I'm not even close um, to anybody right now. I think it's just computer fighting itself. But uh, no, I just like jokes. And I think if you can have uh, good monologue jokes. Yes. Um, but also, um, you have good monologue jokes, but also sing a song, it's fine. Right. Or, but you, you have to earn it. You got to earn it. You have to song. earn it. Exactly. And I feel like we just have a lot of, a lot of singing. That's true. So on, on Tasha the Game Show, you get, oh. This I just got guy destroyed. is handing my ass to me. I'm just... Um, oh. Now I'm hitting you again. Do it! I'm, I'm hitting... Oh, now, see, we're teaming up. This is great. Head guy. It's like when Magneto and Professor X finally <laughs> decide to be friends. <laughs> That's exactly like that. Oh, I just saw Logan, by the way. Oh, how... That's fine. Was it, have you been watching Legion? I hear that Legion is very oh, no, good. I hear it's great. I gotta watch it. I like Fargo a lot. Oh, this robot. Just... Alright, there you go. Alright. Can I make Making a giant robot is just so inefficient, you know? <laughs> well, it really is. How is this gonna end well? Yeah. Unless, I guess we do have giant robots making cars for us all the time. Well, that's true. That, it's only are... a matter of time before they turn rogue. Right, that's true. They start making crazy cars that are killing everybody. 
Oh. Uh, oh, Guy, wait, Guy, I don't know. Somebody asked, what's your favorite game of all time? Did you answer that? Uh oh. I, I think you answered uh, any of the World Tycoon of games. Oh, World of Warcraft. Oh, World That's right, of Warcraft. he answered that. He answered that. Yeah. What do I think about Justice League? I don't know. Are you a big oh, yeah, superhero a fan? I mean, we all have to watch superhero movies. It's our job now. <laughs> it's Americans. Um, we have no choice. And, like, however bad they say Wonder Woman is going to be, I just love this World War One. Right. Um, oh, my God. come from Scorpion. Um, ooh. But I'm done with Zack Snyder making everything brooding and gray. Yeah, I agree. Um, I agree. I think actually, did you have a tweet that said, or did you retweet that? That was just like turn, turn up the color on the. Oh, uh, that was my that was my friend Gabe, <laughs> who is the showrunner of um, of Superstore and loves superhero movies. <laughs> and I was like, it'll be good once I turn the color up enough. <laughs> exactly, um, that's true. It's just so like I think like Marvel's done a great job with making like those movies kind of bright and fun. Yes. You know, like like those superheroes should be like. Um, Ooh. Look, I'm boring and old, and I will always like the X-Men franchise best. I agree. And, oh, I was not into the Avengers. Like, I was like, they're dominating our summer box office, <laughs> and it's never actually that good. Right, exactly. And then I saw Civil War, and I was like, all right, you won me over. Wow, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, no, it's a delight. It's on Netflix. It's, it's a so delight. good. Really? And you have the rich homoerotic tension between yes. Captain America and Bucky Barnes. Oh, my God. Um... Oh. Stan, Sebastian, Chris Evans situation. Poor me. I'm bad at games. What? See, nice slow games with budgets. Yeah. <laughs> you're never dying like this or accidentally hitting your friend. Right, exactly. You intentionally hit oh. your friend. Man, that robot is such a dick. Marvel does have a leg up over. Oh, Deadpool I thought was fun. Oh, yes. That, that was great. Ryan Reynolds. Like, the, the attempts to integrate comedy in Deadpool and Guardians of the Galaxy, delightful. Yeah, I agree. Um, I love me a good Christmas. Ah! Woo! Lightning storm! Take that, buddy. Oh my god. No, wait, do you do a do you do a monologue on Tasha the Game Show? No, I, I did it for the live show, but there just wasn't enough time. That's crazy. And I miss it because as I said, I love jokes and I love talk shows telling jokes. But we have a thing at the end, it's a lightning round, which is kinda like monologue jokes. It's very funny. That's fun. Um, but I don't get to say the punchlines. Other oh, people do. oh you, you know what? That's that's you're giving the assist, the joke assist. I mean, as a person a in entertainment, I don't want other people to look good. Right, um, <laughs> that's true. But you know, spoke is a true profession. When you're a host, it's your job. Yes, exactly. Uh, uh, how is it working on the mini project? Oh, the mini project is super fun. Like, um, my dream in life for always has been to work on a show about a sassy lady in the city. Yes. Uh, and she's really great, and like. I've just learned so much about writing TV shows. It's like, there aren't a lot of good sitcoms now. That's true. And uh, people there are all from like 30 Rock or The Office. Wow. Yes, I finally killed him. Um, That's a crazy pedigree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or The Simpsons. And they're all really smart and dorky. And I love them. That's awesome. They are my friends. That seems like that seems like a really, that seems like a fun office to work in. Yes. Um, you know, it's... Oh, I get it. Like, working for G4 did spoil me when it comes to fun offices because it was like a thing of let's all just go play uh, Call of Duty together. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, a lot of had to get work done. A lot of people are uh, are, are mourning the uh, the end of G4. Wish G4 was back in the chat. They should have a Marvel vs. Capcom movie. <laughs> <laughs> Bring uh, Jean Claude Van Damme back as uh, was he Bison or no? He was Guile or something. The Street Fighter movie. Oh, I mean, um, Kylie Minogue as Tammy. Oh yeah, there you go. That's what you're living for. Your broken teeth will remind you of my victory. If you ever want to figure out if your child is like your seven to ten year old child is a gay man, <laughs> what you need to do is give him a fighting game <laughs> and see if you get some Chun-Li or Candy action. <laughs> um, because it's not a perfect indicator, but it's a strong indicator. <laughs> Those high kicks. Call of Duty Warfare. We're good, Jacko Wacko. We're with Guy Branham. 
talk show, the game show. Host of talk show, the game show, premiering right. April fifth on True TV. That's right. PM. That's right. Please watch my television program. Also follow this guy on Twitter. Guy yes, Brown. I'm at Guy Branham. Guy Branham. Oh, it's, I've been saying Branham. Oh, it's Branham. It's oh all right. no. Oh we'll no, it it's thrill. Branham. Sorry, Guy Branham. <laughs> Got to start over. Oh, there we go. I feel like I want to be, like, I liked the life I was leading as a mountain lion more. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, there was less destruction. More lessons. I think, more lesson. Yeah, I feel like, right, exactly. I think maybe we overcorrected with uh, okay. with the excitement category. because I mean, this, this is, is just fun. I'm, it's just a little bananas. I keep finding and attacking you, um, which is, you know... I need to be more cooperative. <laughs> That's a, you know what? It's it's a free for all. So feel free to, you know. I mean, I you know I'm gonna try. I try to not attack our guests as much as possible. But That's good. That's responsible hosting. Right. Well, you know, I'm tr you know just trying. Just so trying. as a seasoned game player, if you were on talk show the game show, yes. What would your core strategies be? Core strategy. How would you try to take it down? Uh, first of all, I would. My core strategy initially is don't embarrass myself. Okay, that's so fair. I, but I usually fail at that because yeah. I usually end up just talking about like my back hair problems or, you know, hey, all of that stuff. Embarrassing yourself can be a great way of creating a viral moment. It's just so <laughs> easy, you know. It's, fall in love with. it's just so easy. It's just so easy. You would think I don't have embarrassing stories, but then you know I drank a whole uh, punch bowl of tequila by myself and got left at the bar on Friday night. You know, so. It's one of those things a where a punch bowl of tequila. Yeah, right? I was at the spare room and the whole they get they serve punch bowls there, and I was like, hey, I've never done this, and guess what? That's not a good thing you should do. You know, no. like, hey, I've never done this is not a good indicator of something then you should do. Tequila leads to bad moments for me. Yes. I'm electricity. Should I not be in water? <laughs> um, but if you're already electricity, I don't know that you can get hurt. I can clearly get hurt. Um, my other core strategy is to, uh, my parents are therapists, uh -huh. so I, I, I suss you out on what you, uh, on what your likes and dislikes, and then I go straight for the soul, like straight in. Okay, like, what do you peer into my soul here? Oh, what man. What do you see? I mean, I see a lot of happiness, frankly. Okay. You know, I see you're, you're dressed in bright colors, which is great. Uh, also, we're not in a combat situation. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't get my bloodlust up. No, that's very fair. You know? Uh, I don't, you know, I can't, uh, I can't go after our guests. Fucking robot learned to fly. I'm sorry I keep cursing. Oh, it's okay. Please, I said, I've said motherfucker multiple times in this. It's true. Yeah, finally. Oh my god, now they're still talking about Justice League. Guys, Ben Affleck hit me in the back one time. I put it in my Instagram. Why? Because I had to get... I have a million weird jobs in this show, and one of them was when the cast of Justice League was on. After they got interviewed, I had to wrangle them for a cast photo. Uh -huh. And so I was like, guys, don't leave! And I'm screaming in Larry Fishburne's face, and Holly, I'm grabbing Holly Hunter, like, we got it! And then I go to the thing, and I'm talking, I'm trying to tear Conan away from Gal Gadot. Uh, and I'm trying to kind of do that, and Affleck hits me in the back. I think because he wasn't paying attention, and he was walking up the stairs, I was like, oh, I'm so sorry! And he goes, where would you like us to stand? I was like, oh, Batman, I'm so sorry. I was like, oh, over here, over here. Who is Holly Hunter in Justice League? Uh, and, no, she, that was Batman versus Superman. Oh, okay. She was a senator. Oh, I have seen that movie, but I don't remember it. Yeah. Uh, um, she was great. She's very giggly. Can I, I, tell, can I tell you giggly. a great superhero movie related story? Please. You may already know this story. I forget where I heard it from. But somebody asked uh, Viola Davis who she was playing. Um, in whatever. Oh yeah, Suicide oh, in, Squad. In Suicide Squad, and she said Sam Jackson. I'm playing Sam Jackson. <laughs> I love that. And I was like, all right, that that's a win. That's efficient. a win. <laughs> that's a win. I know it is kind of fun. I will say when we have these cast shows. Stop it. I've never. Oops. All right. Sorry. 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 All right. Go for it. Uh, I've never obviously been in a giant superhero movie yet. Thank yes. you. Only a matter of time. Only a matter of time, I think we all know. But um, I mean, with YouTube, we all have TV shows now. Yes. It's only a matter of time before we all have film fresh. That's it. That's true. <laughs> or you know what you should do is maybe come. Well, I would love to see a crossover episode of Talks of the Game Show and like another true TV show. Oh, we we do have some cool people from other shows on. Uh, we have the guys from Those Who Can't. Oh, um, those guys. Uh, um, uh, ben 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 Roy. Uh, ben Roy. Ben Roy. Yeah, he's great. Roy. Ben, ben I, Roy. I say everyone's name wrong. Ben Roy kicks ass. He's no, so you're fun. just responsibly uh, like saying it in French, where it came from. <laughs> um, 
Uh, ben Roy's really hilarious. Those guys are. But great. you're saying crossover show where we make all of the people from the show compete? Yes. Um, that seems compelling. Yes. And like, do it. It could lead to some real resentments. Yeah. Oh and man. I, I like real resentments. That, let's. I like to shove. Uh, I like to sho shove uh, wedges in between true friendships. <laughs> it's so easy when you're on television and you put stakes on it, even if the stakes are just like a garbage disposal. Or just like a ribeye. Or, 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 or a ribeye. In Moby's case, or a ribeye. Oh, a vegan. What would a vegan ribeye be? Oh, Is that just I a don't, big mushroom? I don't, yeah, just it's just a, it's basically just a mushroom cut into a giant middle finger. <laughs> like here you go. I I have a a quick thing about vegan food, which is yes. I'm not going to go into it deeply, but I have a whole thing. You know, like be yourself, and especially when it comes to food. You know, uh -huh. like if you're going to be tofu, just be tofu. Don't be like turkey or steak. If you're going to be vegan, you've given that up. I love it. You've I, given it up. No, I love that there's mock duck. I love that the people of China are making fake scallops. It's so insane. It's beautiful. It's, it's just like, my God, just be yourself, you know? You know food? And I also will say, I get weird delight in eating food that, like, talks. It's so like those M&M commercials, like, I think about when I'm eating it, I'm like, oh, Riley always, thought that was great. I always think it's so weird that we, like, anthropomorphize food for children. Yes. We're like, hey, your McDonald's hamburger is a person. <laughs> right, exactly. And it's just like, yeah, and you're going to eat its face. Power and it's just like thing. That thing does not love me enough to power up I do. I do love uh, eating things' faces, you know? I think eating... The face is the best part, guys. A lot of people don't realize that. Um... Well, I think everybody gets scared of, like, eating things that look like they were once alive. Well, that's true. But you know what? I, it, all I'm saying is try it sometime, you know? It's wonderful. I bet humans delicious, you know? I'm not going to... So I'm, a, I'm an adventurous eater. I'm like the like Christopher Columbus of culinary delights. I would... Like, speaking of... Put something weird in front of me. I'll of fake eat it. foods, I do wish we had, like... Fake tofu human flesh. That's true. Where, right. So we could know. Just like an arm. I mean, that, that's yes. a great, that's a million dollar idea. I want real authentic Aztec food, and that involves some human flesh. You know what? There's a little bit of human flesh here and there. Oh, I'm sorry I broke that. Also, like humans, in terms of, do you know how many bones are in a fish? <laughs> a that lot. is so annoying. A human just has a giant, it's easy to eat around the bones. It's just, we're doing ourselves a disservice, guys, by not eating human beings. Getting to hit that robot with that um, metal thing, that was really satisfying. Yeah, there are some satisfying moments I in this feel game, like... for sure. Also, especially as an electricity guy, I think you can really go to town in the water. Although, maybe that's not... God damn it. This guy just won't die. Um, you guys, we're almost, uh, we're almost out of time here with Guy Branham, not Branham. Yes. If you see him on the street, don't call him Guy Branham. Call no, Guy you Branham. should say, hey, I have a season pass on TiVo yes. for your new show, Talk Show the Game Show, premiering April 5th on True TV. At 10, 9 Central. Yes. And, and Mountain Timers, just pick a time. Don't make uh, us keep saying Ma Central. Who is Mountain Timers? I don't like know. Colorado and nobody else. Can you just get on another time? Do you have to have, it's like four states have like a specific time. Like, what are you doing? A half of Texas that no one horse. goes to. Get off your high horse. We do have a lot of horses in the mountain time zone, though. There are a lot of, what's that? There are a lot of horses in the mountain time zone. <laughs> you need that horse demographic for yeah. your show. That's crazy. Now, wait a second. Now, what's going to happen? You shot the entire season. How many episodes? 16 episodes. 16 is so many episodes. It's a lot of episodes. How long have you been working on the show? Uh, 10 did, years. <laughs> we, we did it. We did it. Oh, that's it. The AI won. Yeah, we failed. Course. Of course. Um, uh, I've been, we worked on the show for like three months, but we made a lot of TV. It oh was my fun. God. It was a good time. That's awesome. Guys, I think that's going to do it for Guy Branham. Watch his show, Talk Show, The Game Show. Thanks so much it's, for having me, Thank guys. you for coming. It's it's, it's a talk show. It's a game show. It's got a bunch of great people on it. It premieres uh, uh, April 5th at 10, 9 Central for you horses. <laughs> <laughs> on True TV, and I'm sure you can catch stuff on uh, True TV. Uh, uh, com, we have an app. There's an app. Ooh. Jesus. Get there's our a, app. There's an app. It's amazing. And follow him, Guy Branham, on Twitter. Guy Branham, thank you so much. Thank you for joining Thanks us, everybody. For me. And we will see you guys uh, next week right here at noon at Stream Coco. See you later. Bye. Bye.